Hey everybody, Klaus here. Welcome to another Right Time with Klaus. Now, I'm just gonna keep this fairly short because there's not a whole hell of a lot I have to say about this, and there's not a, a whole of a whole lot that needs to be said. But there's something uh, I feel needs. Uh, what am I, robot? Okay, seriously though, there's something that kind of needs to be addressed. Is it as serious as other topics that I've talked about on Rant Time? No, not really. But it, it's still something I feel needs to be addressed. And that is kind of sort of touching on the subject of video games. But not so much the video games themselves. I'm talking more so the people who play these video games. I, you always see it in the title of the video. But this is touching upon the competitive nature. Yes. Whenever people like get into like really competitive areas or just get into competitive modes of video games or just arbitrarily making up competitions in places competitions frankly do not belong. Okay? Just people take things too seriously. And I'm not just talking about um video games where competition is there and is legitimate, like say for example Splatoon. There is plenty of competition going on there. Too much competition there, if you ask me, but... Yeah. There's the two-player mode when it comes to Sonic, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. There's Perfect Dark when it comes to counter uh, the counter operative mode. The Battle Simulator, that's, that's where competition is welcome. But I'm talking about where there is no competition like, at all. Like, granted, there, like I said, granted, there is competition when it comes to the multiplayer mode as Splatoon, for the most part. But when people like arbitrarily come up with like a, a competition where it's like, okay, who's inked more turf than the others? Who's got more kills? None of that matters, okay? I just want to make that clear. Crystal clear, okay? The amount of turf you ink as an individual on your team is irrelevant, okay? Just Hell, the kill death ratio is irrelevant. Granted, it is cool to get a lot of kills, nuggets, exhilarating, but at the end of the day, it's something irrelevant. It should not be taken into account when it comes to the ultimate goal, which is just ink the most turf between both teams. That's the only stat that truly really matters. It's like the overall ink, uh, uh, the overall ink. It just, uh, the overall turf between your team and your enemy team. That's what matters. Okay. Like as you see here, like on the uh, results screen. However, when, it, when, you, when you try to apply that logic to individuals on your teams, like okay. I read first, I read second, I read third, I read fourth. Okay, none of that matters. There, there is no first, second place, a, fir a first place, second place, third place, fourth place in Splatoon. It's just ridiculous. To, and to say that there is, where is it? Because I looked in the entire result screen and just, oh, um, maybe it's here. Nope, nope, it's it's not there. Uh, okay, uh, maybe it's right over here. No, it's not there either. Uh, maybe it's on the name. Uh, no, nope. No first place there, meaning that doesn't exist. All that result screen shows is how much you contributed to that team. Okay, imagine if we apply that logic tr to um, Perfect Dark. Like when you, ha when you have a death match. No, 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 no. The amount of kills isn't important whatsoever. No, 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 no. What matters is how much ammunition. Yeah, 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 ammunition. And how much guns you've picked up? No. Like, can you imagine just how ridiculous that, that gets? And say, oh, this is a competition of who opens the doors the most times. Yeah, that, that's a great competition. No, 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 it isn't. Let me also just imagine. If that was applied to Plants vs. Zombies. Plants vs. Zombies, like, for the, um, 
consoles does have a bit of a competitive mode to it. But imagine if, oh, um, if you're on the plant side, it doesn't matter if you take down the three that target zombies or if you're on the zombie side, it doesn't matter if you reach the house. All that matters at the end of the day is that you have more, more resource than your opponent. It's stupid and it's ridiculous. Just how far you will go to just strike a competitive field. It, it aggravates me. And the worst part about the competitive nature that brings out the ugly side of people. It, SAWs, feminazis, any kind of news anchors or whatsoever. No. It's not video games themselves that inspire aggressive behavior. They've never inspired ag uh, aggressive behavior. They don't inspire any kind of aggressive attitude. It doesn't cause people to go buttering. It's the competitive nature that's in all of us. I mean, I have a competitive nature, and yeah, I do kind of get all angry when that competitive nature does come out. I, I'm not going to deny that. But when it, when it comes to comp any kind of competition, people get butthurt if they lose. But if other people lose, it's like, oh, no, no, it's, it's just a game. Don't worry about it. Don't get upset. But when you lose, you get upset. I want to know how it's justified. Okay? This, this applies to everyone who gets into a competitive game, who gets really competitive in, like a, in any kind of video game, in any kind of sports competition, in any kind of art, any anything that involves competition. I want to know how it's justified for you to get butthurt. Because I see no justification to getting really pissed off and getting really upset just because you lose. News flag, you're not always gonna win. Okay? Let's make that perfectly fucking clear. You're not always gonna win. Just accept your loss and congratulate you're like, hey, okay, um you you won this. Good good job, good game, you did well, um I tried my best. I I, I didn't win. Congratulations. Well played. But can, can we apply that logic just everywhere? No. Uh, and okay, the reason I bring a bias like in first because it's one of the worst. Of, sorry about that jump cut. <laughs> it, it, sorry about that. I got interrupted. Uh, I think it, I think it gets a point. It's one of the worst offenders of this, and it's not the absolute worst offender of this. The worst offender of this is Call of Duty. Call a fucking duty. Of all things, yes, Call of Duty. Or this happened a, a few times. Like one person gets so butthurt over losing in Call of Duty, but they have a swat the loser. Like, oh, okay, I heard gunshots like, on the other side, and I'm afraid people might be in danger of getting actual shot. So I might like it to just go but just go bust in the house and like arrest them because I feel like they might be a legitimate threat to society. Thank you. Boom. All of a sudden, FBI took that. Which is why I should stay away from the competitive, um, Call of Duty. Granted, it doesn't, it doesn't happen, like, all that often, but, it, and the fact that I can't play Call of Duty personally. Not only that, but you also, you, you constantly just hear the fact, and the, you hear racial slurs and such. It's Far beyond ridiculous. Why do people take these games so fucking seriously? I mean, this co co goes along with my previous rant. I do as Mario Fango on if you can call that. Why people take games too, too seriously? And th this is still going on. This is still a. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's a huge problem. It's, it's still a problem that we shouldn't ignore. Because it's again, again, again. again Social justice warriors are using this as ammunition against the video, against video games as a whole. Ignoring the fact that it's everybody's competitive nature and that we all have this toxic... Except, um... I, I, I can't say I call it toxic, but... This competitive nature. That's that's really what it is. It's competitive nature. We lose. We get butthurt over it. It's stupid. It's fucked up. And just... Why? Ugh. Okay, I, I know I said I just 
wanted to keep this relatively short, but I was like, fuck it, just say, just say everything that I had to say, just get it all out there. Ugh, oh well. Anyways, um, what do you all think of this? Like, legitimately, how, how do you all feel about this competitive nature, like, getting in the way of us enjoying, like, our awesome video games and such? Let me know in the comments field down below, just, do you agree with me? Do you, do you disagree with me? I don't really care, okay? I don't really care if you agree or disagree. This is something I feel that everybody should talk about, everybody should address at its core point. Tell me, why is it okay that we take this, take these games too serious, so seriously? What the fuck ever happened to play games for fun? Play games because they're entertaining. But no, apparently video games don't just entertain. Us. Apparently, video games are also a competition that we must take seriously, right? Ugh. Well, anyways, um, uh, that that's about it. That's. I I I try to get that off my chest real, real quick. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all, and have a good day. This competitive thing is just—it's really bothersome. It's, it pisses me off, and it's just—it's not a very good thing in the long run.